Today we will learn about construction of parallel line. Before going towards the topic, I would like to share one very exciting news for you, which not only tests your knowledge but also gives you a chance to win a scholarship worth rupees five lakhs from an academy. You can check your exam preparation for NCERT Class Six to Class Nine through a free national level competition called An Academy Ascend All India Championship. Organized by an academy on 10 January 2021, the test not only checks your exam preparation but also gives you a detailed analysis of performance so you can improve yourself. Sounds interesting? So enroll now with the invitation code Elfatafat and grab the opportunity to show your talent on a national level. More details and a link for enrollment is given in the description box. So let's crack it. You already know about angles made by transversal of parallel lines. Let's recall it. The corresponding angles and alternate interior angles made by transversal of parallel lines are equal, as well as the pair of angles made on the same side of transversal are supplementary. With the use of one of these properties, we can construct the parallel line to a given line through a point. Not on the line. Let's construct it. First, we will draw a line and name it as P. Now, we will mark point E outside the line P. After this, we will mark the point F on the line P and join the point E to point F. Now, we will consider point F as center and keep the pointed tip of the compass on it. After taking a convenient radius, we will draw an arc. This arc intersects line P at point G and intersects line segment FE at point H. Without changing the radius, we will consider point E as center and draw an arc IJ. Arc IJ intersects line segment at point K. Now. We place the pointed tip of the compass on point G and adjust the radius so that the tip of pencil touches at point H. Without changing the radius and considering point K as center, we will draw an arc. This arc cuts arc IJ at point L. Now, for joining point E and point L, we will draw line Q. Here we can see that angle EFG and angle FEL are alternate interior angles. For constructing it, we have not changed the radius of the compass. That's why these are equal. We know that alternate interior angles made by transversal of parallel lines are equal. So we can say that line P is parallel to line Q. I think you have understood it very well. So, can you tell me how we will construct a line Q parallel to line P at a distance of 4.7 cm? Think about it. Let me tell you. For this, first we draw the line P. Now, we will draw the line segment which is perpendicular on line P. We can do this with the help of protector or compass. After this, we will take a distance of 4.7 cm from line P and mark the point E on perpendicular. Now, we can follow the above protocol and draw a line Q. In this way, we have constructed line P parallel to line Q. If we measure the distance between line P and line Q, It will be 4.7 cm. Therefore, we can say that line Q and line P are at distance of 4.7 cm. I hope you have understood the topic very well. Thanks for watching this video.